All right, so um, we are going to dive into something pretty wild today. It's this potential boxing match between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. I mean, it just feels like something out of a dream. We've got some interesting takes from ESPN's First Take crew to uh, unpack here. So mm -hmm. just to set the scene for you, we've got a 31-year age gap between these two guys. Tyson, the legend, Iron Mike, and then you have Jake Paul, the, uh, well... I guess you could call me YouTuber turned boxer at this point. Yeah, it's pretty wild. And he's definitely been stirring things up in the boxing world lately. That's for sure. I mean, and don't forget about that whole fake slap thing between yeah. them recently. You know, it's no wonder that people are going crazy about the possibility of an exhibition match. Yeah. And the really interesting thing about this whole situation is how Jake Paul has turned the boxing world on its head. It's not like he's just some random celebrity trying to make a quick buck. He's actually promoting his own fights. He's completely bypassing those big promoters. And you know what? It's actually resonating with some boxing fans. That's a good point. And on first take, Ryan Clark was totally convinced that Tyson would take this seriously. He thought Tyson could knock Paul out even at his age. Talk about an old dog can hunt. You can't deny Tyson's power. It's legendary. But I think we have to be realistic here. His age is a huge factor. Stamina is crucial in boxing. And at 58, you know... It's a valid concern. For sure. I mean, even Stephen A. Smith, who's usually all for the spectacle, even he expressed some concern for Tyson. You know, he talked about Tyson's past and the weight of his legacy. Right. You just can't ignore the emotional stakes here for anyone who's followed Tyson's career. Absolutely. It really makes you think, what's driving someone like Mike Tyson back into the ring? And especially against someone like Jake Paul. Yeah, that's a great question. What about from Paul's side of things? Smith yeah. brought up the fact that Paul has kind of picked opponents who give him an advantage in the past. And that's true. But fighting Tyson, that's just a whole other level. Even if he was just an exhibition match, think about how much attention it would get. It would be massive. And for Paul, that means more money. Which would just add fuel to his whole argument about self-promotion being the future of boxing. He's really challenging the power dynamics of the entire sport. So is he actually changing the game? Max Kellerman called it the Floyd effect on first yeah. take, which I thought was an interesting way to put it. The Floyd effect, yeah. It's like that combination of skill and self-promotion where you just can't ignore them. Kind of like Floyd Mayweather. People either love to see him win or get knocked out. There wasn't much middle ground. So we've got this really interesting clash of styles, personalities, and generations. It's almost like a Shakespearean drama playing out in the boxing ring. Uh -huh. What about you? Where do you stand on this whole Tyson versus Paul situation? Yeah, it really does get to the heart of what makes this whole thing so interesting, doesn't it? You've got yeah. Tyson, who's this icon from the golden age of boxing. And then you've got Paul, who's this brash newcomer who's completely changed the rules of the game. Yeah, and that Floyd effect you were talking about. Mm -hmm. It's like Paul's taking a page right out of Mayweather's playbook, turning himself into a spectacle. And love him or hate him, you just can't ignore him. Exactly. Mayweather was a master at marketing himself. He understood the entertainment value of boxing and how to draw in huge crowds, even people who didn't normally watch boxing. And Paul seems to be doing the same thing, but he's targeting a younger audience, people who grew up online. It's true. He's got this whole generation of fans who follow him online. Yeah. Okay who engage with him, and then suddenly they're buying tickets to his fights. Yeah, and he's managed to do all of that without the traditional gatekeepers. No big promoters or anything like that is pretty disruptive. He's proving that you don't necessarily need a long amateur career or a powerful promoter to be successful in boxing. So is he like the Uber or Airbnb of boxing? Huh. That's a great analogy. He's forcing everyone to rethink how boxing is promoted, how people watch it and even how it's defined. Even those who criticize his methods, like some of the analysts on first take, even they admit that he's bringing new attention to the sport. It's interesting because you have these purists who hate his self-promotion and the opponents he chooses. But at the same time, he's forcing the boxing establishment to face some hard truths. Exactly. He's exposing the weaknesses of the old system. Yeah. And showing that it can be changed, whether you like him or not. He's making people think differently about boxing. Stephen A. Smith even said he admires Paul's hustle, his ability to make his own way. Yeah. It shows this really fascinating contradiction about Jake Paul. He can be arrogant and brash, but he's also incredibly savvy and ambitious. He's challenging the norms. But at the same time, he's exposing the flaws in the very system he's trying to disrupt. It's almost like he's holding a mirror up to this port and saying, look, this is where we are and things need to change. Yeah, and with this potential fight against Tyson, he's taking that disruption to a whole new level. Just imagine all the hype, the media frenzy. It would be crazy. It would be wild. But beyond all of that, 
There are some serious questions we have to ask. Can Tyson really overcome the challenges of his age, even with all his power and experience? And can Paul handle the pressure of facing a legend like Iron Mike? Those are the questions that everyone wants answered. This fight isn't just about winning or losing, it's about legacy, about how boxing is changing, and about the power of believing in yourself. It's a story that goes way beyond boxing, a clash of two different worlds, two different eras of the sport. And it's a story that you, the listener, are part of now. All right, so let's imagine ourselves ringside for this fight. Can you feel that energy, that anticipation? Are you in Tyson's corner, hoping to see one last knockout from the legend? Or are you on Paul's side, intrigued by his whole, I don't know, you could say attitude and willingness to shake things up? Yeah, it's like you're picking a side in some kind of philosophical debate. Tradition versus disruption. The old guard versus the new. It's really interesting to see how this fight has become about something bigger than just boxing. Totally. Remember we were talking about that first tape discussion? They were all over the place with their predictions. But you know what they all agreed on? What's that? That this fight would be pure spectacle. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And that's what makes it so fascinating, right? The unpredictability. You've got this huge age difference, totally different personalities, and completely contrasting fighting styles. It's going to be must-see TV. But there's more to it than just the entertainment aspect isn't there. It makes you think about the state of boxing today, the role of celebrity, mm -hmm. self-promotion, even your own values. For sure. It's like a cultural moment reflecting how power and influence are shifting. I mean, think about it. Are you drawn to Tyson's legacy, that raw power and experience? Or are you more interested in Paul's audacity, his ability to kind of rewrite the rules and build his own empire? There are no easy answers. Right. And maybe that's the whole point. This fight, whether it happens or not, it's got everyone talking about boxing again. I think that's what's so great about it. Regardless of who wins in the ring, the real winner here could be boxing itself. It's a reminder that sometimes... A little bit of controversy, a little bit of spectacle it can be a good thing for a sport. So as we wrap up our deep dive today, we want to leave you with this. Mm -hmm. How has this potential matchup changed your view of boxing? What does it tell us about sports and entertainment in the digital age? It's a lot to think about, but that's what we're all about here on The Deep Dive. Thanks for joining us.